There are a lot of ways to move things in rooms. Most commonly, people will use start move to or start move by, but it's also important to consider, depending upon your use case, using set velocity. This allows you to set the velocity of a thing on the X, the Y, and the Z axis, or a combination of the three in order to get movement that is in line with what you're hoping to create. So let's jump in and just see what this looks like. I'm gonna go into edit mode, I'm gonna click on the car, and then I'm going to go into the code editor. And you can see that I have an on-click method here, and we're just going to add that single line of set velocity. And you can see that whenever you select velocity, you've got VX, VY, and VZ. This just stands for velocity on X, velocity on Y, and velocity on Z. So if we want our car to move forward on this blue line, uh, that is on the Z axis, and I believe that's negative. Uh, so what we wanna do is we'll put a zero in for the X axis, which would be across here or kind of sideways. We also wanna put a zero for the Y axis, which would be the green one, which is vertical. And then we wanna do, let's do negative 20 right now for the Z. And the reason that it is negative is for the directionality aspect. It's going this way. Uh, so let's preview it. And then we click on the car and we can see that the car is moving at a constant speed of 20 units per second forever. And so uh, you can also uh, adjust this. Let's say that we wanted to do uh, also negative 20. If we do this properly, we should get it going on a diagonal, which is great. Uh, and then if you wanted to do like a hover option, uh, maybe you had like a helicopter or, or something like that, then you could do, uh, you would want to do positive here. Let's do 10. Uh, and then if you preview and click on it, you can see that it starts to move vertically. So set velocity is just another way for you to move things in your room. And it allows you to do so at a constant rate of speed across all of the X, Y, and Z axes.